Hello everyone, my name is Death in a Can, and welcome back to High on Life. We just made it to High on Life, which I assume is some kind of alien dispensary, based on the way all of these guys are talking. I'm just gonna see if I can get right in there. Welcome to High on Life store number 7923, your local Hyperbong Superstore. Please, no traveling of other patrons during the midnight launch. Hmm. Try to push him over. Well, well, well. I smell another mystery. I'm Pseudo, I hate you, Pseudo. You know I hate you so Dude, fucking much. go away. Yeah, you already Shut know what up. I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. Yeah, no shit, Pseudo. Hi. Hello, and welcome to High on Life. How can High on Life help you today? Why do you sound like the experts from that uh, South Park episode? Illegal? No, 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 not in any real sense. You must be reading some of our detractors on the internet or watching too many Club Nugman speeches. Hyperbongs are totally humane and of no harm to anybody except the creatures you smoke in them. Great question. Thanks so much for your interest. We sell hyperbongs and hyperbong accessories. Propane the and propane model, accessories. Got it. Got it. Is even capable of smoking humans. That's right. That hot new species you've been hearing about. High on life hyperbongs are the only way to get that fix. Is the store anyway connected to the G3? High on life employees are not authorized to admit that we have ties to the criminal organization known as the G3, but can I offer you membership in our high on life care program? Why'd you build a store in the slums, especially like this we asset? Actually like an Applebee's over there, not to call it the slums. This is mm. an exciting new up and coming part of town that we hope will attract a youthful new demographic ready to spend their hard earned money on quality products. Speaking of which, can I interest you in a Hyperbong 6? These are some tough nuts to crack. Don't lose motivation. You're doing great. But you do get a D ranking because that one sucks. Shut up. I'm doing the best I can. You. Oh, uh, 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 hello. Hello and welcome, welcome to High on Life. I'm Barrick. Uh, I can be a personal uh, High on Life uh, prof professional today. Um, th that makes sense, right? That, does that sound okay? I'm I'm new here. Ooh, you're new here? That means I can I can get stuff out of you. Hey, hey, it's my first day. Uh, can you do me a favor and not to mention Dr. Giblets around here? They told us not to talk so about So you do him. know him. Oh, no, it's okay, I guess. Uh, it's the big Hyperbond 6 Midnight Lunch, and we literally just opened, so uh, i only been here for, like, half an hour. And honestly, okay, yeah, it kind of sucks so far because, like, I can already feel my soul leaving my body. Probably that thing on the side of your head. I don't even know what that is. Some kind of chip? God, I'd really love to help you because you look very cool. But no, sorry, I, I, I have no clue. Me? Oh, no, 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 I'm, uh, I'm straight edge. I don't even like thinking about drugs. This job was a, oh, well, it was a bad idea for me, probably. Yeah, I don't know why you're here. Wow, it's nice too bad kid, I couldn't get any information out of you. You get a big fat D ranking. Another D ranking? That's doo doo. This guy Holy kinda shit, looks like Mark Zuckerberg. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? Not really. I need information. Huh? Nah. I think they're probably bad for society overall, you know? I mean, uh, I don't have a problem with drugs in general, but hyperbongs are like, the drugs are living creatures and they die, and that seems a little fucked up, right? But hey, I'm the manager at the store that sells hyperbongs. I probably shouldn't be saying stuff like that. It's hypocritical, it's weird. I don't know, I'm just here. I'm just here. You sound kind of defeated, bud. Oh man, this again. Look, man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store or who built it. Or I'm, I'm kind of a fuck up. I lied on my resume. I got this manager gig. I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like. I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. You know him, though, right? Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around, though. I don't really know where he is. So you're the manager here then? That's right, it's a big day. I didn't think there'd be this many people lining up to buy hyper bongs. Probably a bad sign for our city. Yeah, I thought it'd be a pretty niche market, but what? everybody's here. I told you, I have no idea where he is. And you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone. It's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me. All right. Okay, well. shit, not, not so good. It looks like we uh, hit, a, hit a dead end, so let's get the fuck out of here. Z ranking, Just what give the up fuck? On being detective. Oh, shit, uh, it's dude. all done now. Hi. 
Nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be oh, shopping. Oh, God, are you that guys going to try to shoot like me? That poke in that beak where I don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. I don't have a beak. Jesus, enough with all these fucking weirdos hassling us. Fuck off! You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, yeah? he's only got one good threat, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this. Got it? Fucking We've Simpsons got this looking coming. ass. They're going. What the fuck were they on about? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay, well. I want out. Out. Yikes, we got a trample victim. Hey, oh, dead nerd trample to death. Oh, he does yeah. not look well. My friend Davy Glutes got trampled in the rush. Pretty sad, right? Yeah, it's pretty sad. One moment he was there, next he's gone. Squashed. Oh, you can go ahead and take his mag boots. It's not a problem. Mag boots. Short magnetic boots. Because they have magnetic solar souls. Welcome to service. Congratulations for smart people now. So I have yeah, magnetic boots. Totally oh, Why are you looking no. at me like that bounty hunter? He's dead. He's not using them anymore. Hey, we... you good use of those mag boots. Is this the way home? I just kind of clung to the first wall that I saw on hope. Oh, I cannot handle combat sideways. Box of my brain a little bit too much. Ah, uh, what? What, is it illegal to use mag boots on the side of a building? Hello? Yeah, I'm not too happy about this whole situation I seem to find myself in. Okay, I'm actually surprised they gave me another dash there. Not on the side of the building now, though. Oh, were you giving up? I am so sorry. Hey, glob shot's ready. I just pulled you out, and you're already trying to force me to use glob shot. Fuck you. Barely even know where I am right now. Downy? Down. Downy? Downy. At least the walls that I could walk on are nicely labeled. Go back to Gene and uh, you know tell him that we really fucked up going on high life. There it is. Welcome back. We've got company. Why are you in my house? You two again? Don't worry, they're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because newsflash buckos, we're on your Damn side. It. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. Sounds like you have a very complex home life. Based on the fact that the mayor, mayor's a yellow person, I'm going to guess that you guys are with the mayor. We represent yep. Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny slim. The Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd. The G3 cartel. Yeah, I or I more left specifically, them I left them with like Dr. Torg John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed. Pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for Not, the job. Not, but I'll do the best says that I can. Already helping him. Says the G3 is our common enemy. Yeah. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblet's. He's been whooping all over, leaving behind a nice little warp trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house that way clog don't have to Your get his two little sexy hands. sir you dig this kid's fast yeah check out dale earnhardt jr How over the here fuck let's say do you know who that dies. is maybe hypothetically 
The name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. Hey, hey, to the mayor, how about I guess. That? How about let's talk to Clug? All right. Oh, welcome back. Thank you so much for all your Oh, the yeah, city still looks amazing. like yeah, shit. Real pros. What's cracking? Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of blim, it's really going to help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with Dr. Giblets? Absolutely. But we hit a dead end. A dead end? Oh no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk. Not sure what might be on it. Giblets! Oh, I, yeah, I, I see what's happening here. You're appointing us to Dr. Giblets. Whoa, whoa, even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Right. So we can not hey, more hey, I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. We got this. Just gonna go into this floppy disk. Oh, nice, nice, and, nice! Uh, now we can find giblets. I said, buzz off. Okay, bye. You're rude. I don't. See, Club saved our ass. He showed us where Giblets is! That's great! I'm kinda of regret not voting for him. Now get out there and kill Giblets. Okay. Oh, this just took me right back to the mayor. Oopsies. Work. So I gotta go back to Zephyr. That is what I am attempting to do. That's the boy. I forgot. Okay! That was a new menu. I thought it would just be an auto kind of select Peggy, but uh... They did say I could go back and loot whatever the fuck I wanted, whatever the fuck I wanted, so... I guess it all makes sense. Oh. Oh no. Well, combat it is. Jason Shields. Who the fuck is Jason? You? I gotta say, absolutely adore shotguns. I get too far into this next plan and I think that's gonna be it for this episode um next episode we'll finally kill Dr. Giblets I guess get a new Gatlian from what they were suggesting so I'll see you guys in the next one